This video is about processing plastics or polymers. Now we know from a previous video uh, where I was introducing plastics that they come in different types. So we've got the, the, the widest variety of plastics that come from the, the family of thermoplastics which can be heated and reheated. Uh, there's also thermosets and elastomers or thermoplastic elastomers which share many of the characteristics of thermoplastics. Now when we're talking about processing plastics, thermoplastics can be pr processed in many many different ways where Whereas thermo sets are a lot more, thermo sets are a lot more limited uh, in terms of how you can process them and what you can actually produce. Now. I'm going to talk a little bit about the different uh, processes but effectively polymer processing can be broken down into three broad areas. Now the first area would be uh, moulding processes where you take the plastics probably normally in a sort of a, a raw sort of form like plastic pellets or powders and these can be formed in heat uh, moulds uh, via heat um, to redistribute the plastic into different forms. The other main processing area is obviously the forming process. Now, uh, in the terms of thermoplastics, they often come in sheet form for this, and then they can be again sort of uh, manipulated and redistributed into different shapes from the standard stock uh, sheet or rod, for example. And obviously, there are joining processes how to join one um, uh, polymer or plastic to another. Now, um, from the uh, all of these processes effectively um, you could get questions in the exam about any of these processes now I cannot emphasize, emphasize enough how much you need to know um, these processes almost back to front so I strongly, strongly recommend that after you've learnt the kind of names and the types of uh, products that can be made with these processes that you actually start researching and learning a how to draw the process B, how to annotate uh, a, a diagram explaining the process and obviously see the actual process broken down into simple stages because there are many many questions uh, in the exam papers that come up every year and you need to know a whole range of these processes obviously for metals and uh, um, various other materials as well but for plastics uh, these are absolutely crucial so if we're talking about um, thermoplastics and molding processes the general ones that you're going to need to know are injection molding blow molding, rotational molding, extrusion and calendering. Now molding processes for thermo sets there is only one main process that you're going to need to know and this is compression molding. Okay. Now if we move on to the forming processes there are no uh, forming, forming processes for thermo sets uh, that you're going to have to uh, talk about okay however for the forming of thermoplastics you are going to need to have an understanding of vacuum forming thermo forming which is very similar and line bending and in terms of jo joining processes there are many ways that you can join plastics together but in terms of thermoplastics you can obviously join these with screws um, integral snap fixings which is obviously pr processing the plastic in such a way that they can be uh, snapped together a bit like uh, like the two sides of a remote control for example uh, captive nuts so actually using a nut that is um, sort of uh, formed around in the plastic forming process to actually hold it in place obviously the use of adhesives and this this applies to any sort of material uh, thermal welding so using heat to actually join the two plastics together and ultrasonic welding as well if effectively kind of vibrate in the plastics until they form heat and therefore can uh, join together. In terms of thermosets you're a lot more limited because obviously you can't use heat to um, join these two uh, types of plastics together and you can't form um, captive nuts or fixings inside the plastic due to the limitations of compression molding. However you can join thermosets obviously by the use of screw fixings or adhesives. So these are the general sort of uh, polymer processing um, uh, um, techniques and you are going to have to as I say have a broad uh, understanding of all of these to ensure that you kind of don't get caught out on the exams.